some pretty alarming news here, people. Erkan Tepper, the drug cheat, is fighting this Sunday. That's right. Even though this guy was supposedly on a two-year ban, although that was imposed by the EBU, so outside of EBU contests, I guess it's a bit of a grey area, but they did impose a two-year ban. But despite that, Erkan Tepper is being allowed to fight by the BDB. That's the German Boxing Commission, basically. They're allowing Tepper to fight. They've apparently lifted his ban early and shown special leniency, according to the president of that organization. And he'll be fighting Derek Rossi on Sunday. I scratch my head at this whole situation. They say that obviously this comes with provisions. Erkan Tepper will have to undergo random drug testing. That's the gist of what I'm getting from this article, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. So he has to let them know of his whereabouts at all times. They can turn up unannounced and test them and what have you. So it's less than a year since he knocked out David Price. And even less than that since he was officially banned. So for taking all those substances, and Tepper was caught for numerous substances, steroids and all types of other stuff. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that was the case. Despite that, this guy has served less than a year ban and he's back in action. Shocking stuff. Absolutely shocking. And these were not no over-the-counter stuff, you know, substances he was taking. These were serious, hard performance enhancing drugs. Unbelievable. But We'll see where it goes <laughs> goes from here, people. We'll see what type of matches he can be involved in. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. And if anything I've said in this video is inaccurate, please correct me. Um, you know, I don't want to say anything that's uh, you know, not exactly uh, true or accurate. So if I've said anything wrong, correct me in the comment section and uh, let me know. All right. Also, let me know how you feel about this particular situation. I think it's disgraceful. Maybe you disagree. Maybe you think because of the provisions, the fact that he has to undergo random drug testing and all this type of stuff, that it's legitimate, but I can't see an argument for it personally myself. There has to be deterrence for people doing these kind of things. Somebody has to be made an example of, particularly when it's such a serious and blatant offence and infringement as this. Just read the articles about what Tepper was caught taking about the stuff he tested positive for and the stuff that was found in his apartment in Germany. Unbelievable. So, yeah, let me know how you feel, people. It's your boy Hatman, I'm out.